Hi, it's The Wire. Always, 1776.com, a free site. Also, gamblersadvisory.com, a free site. Nothing I say in this video should be construed as investment advice. I want every listener who's even thinking about investing to do their own due diligence, right? Own your life. Make your own decisions. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now, you have a big announcement taking place tomorrow. NVIDIA, the Goliath, is going to announce its earnings. Right now, let me just say, in my opinion, NVIDIA is priced for perfection. They could make a lot of money and still not meet expectations. These earnings reports are really expectation games. So for the speculators among us, I'll raise my hand. Right? A play that I like, and legally I can tell you what I like. I'm just telling you what I'm considering or actually pursuing is an inverse ETF on NVIDIA. What I'm going to do is in the description section of this video I'm going to have a US News article on NVIDIA. It's going to talk about the bullish expectations, how NVIDIA is likely to announce good numbers, sales growth, continued sales growth. But it's also going to point out that if NVIDIA has any kind of hiccup as any kind of sneeze there could be a substantial price move I like to bet against perfection um, NVDD is the inverse ETF again the symbol is NVDD in other words if Nvidia drops for whatever reason news is bad or the news is not as good as hoped for you'll be in the catbird seat understand though inverse ETFs have extremely high risks you see the words behind me here right you if you believe this is just a one-off that after an initial market reaction, NVIDIA is going to readjust and get back on the uh, bullish road. Then you'll want to get out of this position quickly. But if you believe NVIDIA can't meet current expectations, the price is simply too high. If you do find yourself with a profit after earnings are announced, uh tomorrow you might want to stick around this inverse ETF again the symbol is NVDD now let's talk about another play understand um, I'm someone who firmly believes that sometimes the world gets things wrong that sometimes a downtrend is in error and that happy days are in front of us right as everyone is fleeing some scene I'm the person who walks into the scene if I see bargains right we're not trying to be a contrarian we're just trying to get things on sale right I'm not trying to be different from everyone else you know if I can fit in great sounds good to me more beer for all of us but if the crowd is running away from the beer stand and they're dropping prices on the beer and I'm thirsty, I'm thinking, great, you know, more beer for me. This is a more beer for me situation. In the world of crypto, right, just understand that one of the biggest holders of Bitcoin is publicly traded MicroStrategy, Michael Saylor's outfit. Now, you know, it's great holding Bitcoin, um, getting capital gains on Bitcoin. That's great. 
what's even better is if you can use leverage again look at the words in the background here high risk right speculators only if you can use leverage to increase your rate of return which by the way is what MicroStrategy is doing right Bitcoin dips in price they'll borrow money that's what we mean with leverage they'll borrow money to buy more Bitcoin if you can do that and if Bitcoin is on the upward trajectory I think it is long term then your profits are gonna be even bigger than if you just bought and held Bitcoin so there's a leverage dynamic with MicroStrategy's approach to Bitcoin right in my opinion it has a higher profit potential than simply holding Bitcoin well just imagine and by the way as I make this video of course Bitcoin is down micro strategies is down understand um, we're walking in the store everyone's leaving right we're dining at the failing restaurant here right if micro strategy is more bullish than holding Bitcoin could you imagine holding a leveraged ETF that strives for 1.75x on MicroStrategy? Right again, 1.75x return on what MicroStrategy is doing. Understand, they're able to pull it off if you believe they can using options and other extremely risky financial devices now I've traded options in the past Wow I'm still dealing with the shrapnel some options blew up on me um, in a famous play I had uh, the stock actually went up unfortunately that was after my option expired right it was a call option and uh, it blew up on me you can have the best ideas the best ideas right whether you're long or short and they can blow up because options are price sensitive right nothing in life is guaranteed except death and taxes right so let me just say this is high risk the risk is all yours but you now have single stock ETFs and the ETF I like it's it's down today folks right it's down something like three percent today right now to me great that means that I'm getting it even cheaper than I normally would that ETF symbol is M as in Mary S as in Sam T as in Thomas X as in X-ray. So that's MSTX. Again, that's MSTX. They're trying to deliver 1.75 times what MicroStrategy is delivering. And understand, MicroStrategy is a leveraged play on Bitcoin. There are other parts of the company let's just say the Bitcoin part is the huge part of micro strategy so that's what I'm looking at this morning on August the 27th 2024 no risk it no biscuit right if you're gonna swim you're gonna have to get in the water right so to sum up I like an inverse ETF on NVIDIA. The symbol is NVDD. Again, that's NVDD. I also like a bullish 1.75x ETF, exchange traded fund, on MicroStrategy. The symbol for the ETF is M. S T X 
We'll see how it rolls out, but I need for everyone to understand the risk involved. The stock market is tough. Inverse ETFs, folks, they're tough. Adults only. If NVIDIA announces earnings and the earnings are robust, as suggested in the U.S. News article that I will post a link to in the comment section of this video. And if the market reacts favorably, right, they say, wow, this is even better than we thought, or they're on the money, the thesis is proven correct. Let's continue to pile on if NVIDIA jumps after its earnings release. Just understand, I'll have shrapnel all over me. The bomb of having an inverse ETF during a bullish earnings release will have me be one of those people in the financial casino slumped down in my chair, dazed and confused. That's the risk I'm willing to take. Also, if Bitcoin isn't the long-term winner that I think. If, in fact, MicroStrategy incurs losses, and understand, these crypto winners can be extremely cold. If MicroStrategy incurs losses over the next month or two months, just multiply them by 1.75. That'll be the amount of downside I'm dealing with on my long 1.75x ETF. Again, the symbol is MSTX. Right? Adults only. Not for the squeamish. If you think horror movies are horrifying, just try dealing in the world of inverse ETFs during bull markets. Right? That's the risk I'm taking. Thought I'd just share that news with you. Also, if you're one of these people who believes that there's nothing quite like sports betting, ooh, you have not dealt with options, have you? Those are my thoughts. Let me hear yours. I hope you leave them in the comment section of this YouTube video. NVIDIA announces tomorrow. Buckle up. This could be a ride. Thanks for stopping by.